Hello, welcome to Video Jug and a deeper look into our solar system. What is a constellation? When you go outside on a dark, clear night, you look up into the night sky and see hundreds, if not thousands of stars randomly spread across the sky. How do you tell one from another? The answer is, you learn the constellations. The constellations are totally imaginary things that poets, farmers and astronomers have made up for over the past 6,000 years and probably even more. The real purpose for the constellations is to help us tell which stars are which, nothing more. On a really dark night, you can see about 1,000 to 1,500 stars. Trying to tell which is which is hard. If you were shown a map of the world, you would easily recognize the continents and countries. Then you would be able to pick out cities and towns. Well, let's split the sky into continents, countries, and cities. The constellations help by breaking up the sky into more manageable bits. For example, if you spot three bright stars in a row in a winter evening, you might realize that's part of Orion. Suddenly, the rest of the constellation falls into place and you can declare, there's Betelgeuse in Orion's left shoulder, and Rigel on his foot. And once you recognize Orion, you can remember that Orion's hunting dogs are always nearby. Then, you might recognize the two bright stars in the upper and lower left of the photograph as Procyon in Canis Minor and Sirius in Canis Major. The constellations change throughout the year. In winter and early spring, we have Orion dominating the sky. His arch enemy, Scorpio, is high in the southern sky during the summer months. From the northern hemisphere, Ursa Major, or the Great Bear, never disappears beneath the horizon. We have now broken it down into the plow, the chariot, or in the USA, the Big Dipper. Follow the two stars at the end of the plow, known as the pointers, and they point to the North Star. Follow them downwards and they point to Leo the Lion. Using one constellation helps us find many more constellations. Let's go back to Orion. Follow the stars in the belt up past the star Betelgeuse in his left shoulder and we come across Castor and Pollux, the two bright stars in Gemini, the twins. Follow his belt in a line upwards and we find Aldebaran, the eye of Taurus, the bull. There are 88 recognized constellations in the sky. Some take a little more imagination than others to see them. Here is Capricorn, the goat. And here is Cancer, the crab. And the W shape of Cassiopeia, a beautiful lady sitting in a chair, needs a lot of imagination. What about Pegasus, the winged horse? And here is Perseus, the prince. All once famous names from mythology. Perhaps we spend too much time in front of a television to really let our minds run astray. For more intriguing information about our solar system, check out our other films here on Video Jug.